Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Rice D Cat Panda CTF and we're going to be talking about the web challenge No Sleep. The description is Jazz doesn't get enough sleep since he is such a gamer so in this challenge you'll be staying up with him until 4 a.m. in the morning on a Monday. Let's go gamers and the hint is a URL. When we go to that link we come over here and it says Jess will let you be a real gamer in six days, six hours, and so on. Um, so the first thing I checked out was uh, finding out what exactly is, is happening here, uh, what is this timer doing, what's going to happen. So I'm pretty much just to uh, inspect element on there, on the timer. And here we see the timer, and here we see a, a script tag. So this uh, is obfuscated JavaScript, copy that. I uh, went over to my WebStorm and I pasted that in. Right. So now we have the obfuscated JavaScript in WebStorm or in uh, any ID of your pre uh, preference. But I like WebStorm because I can do things, li things like um, reformat code, which is going to reformat it. It's already become a lot more readable. Now let's uh, take a look at this again. So in obfuscated JavaScript, almost any time you'll have this array with strings and these strings are, are it seems like things that can happen so this is something very common in obfuscated JavaScript um, so we have that we also have um, these functions and a lot of uh, gibberish going on that we don't fully understand so let's try to dissect this so we want to know when this gets accessed so if I click on it, it'll highlight all the other uh, places where it's uh, it's been accessed or it's been used. And that is in this function and in this function. And this function gets used a lot and gets used between these square brackets. Now, if you don't know what these square brackets are, I'm going to explain that pretty quickly. So uh, document.getElementById would be equal to document uh, bra bracket as a string get element by id enter string enter bracket so that would be the same right so since this is returning a, a string this function that's being called all the time is returning a string it's going to take something from here and return a string so we know that document is being called with something and we also see that uh, a zero gets passed on here as an argument so let's see what this function does it takes our argument it removes zero from it so it stays the same and then it accesses this array it accesses that array with our, our um, index that we supplied so if it's supplied with zero we expect the first uh, of this array to uh, be entered there but that would mean that document uh, gamer field equals January blah 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 would get uh, called which is not something that is is some is logical uh, that it's not a thing that document does document al is always almost always followed by uh, dot get element by ID dot cookie stuff like that so that would suggest that this array might be changed before we get there now and that's probably what this function does because as we can see something happens to it here it either gets used or changed I don't know, but something happens. So what I did was I copied all of this and I put it in a new file. And at the bottom of it, I just printed out all the possible things. I also renamed it to two name, which is something very useful to do. So let's do that here as well. I'm going to refactor, rename to name, to refactor. Now we can see that it's been changed to two name all along the, the program. So right, so this is going to print all of those out. Let's run this. And the zero one would be cookie then. Does document dot cookie make sense? Yes, it does. So this is probably correct. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer. So the interesting ones here are AES, decrypt, this long string. Uh, and those are the very interesting ones. So we're pretty much looking for an eight, nine, and an A. So let's see, let's do a, um, Let's do a replace. Let 
that's not what I needed. A find, re find and replace. Replace. Okay, this one. So we're going to change um, to name A to this long string. So to that long string, replace all. Okay, so this is where our magic is happening. We also see crypto.js, which matches with this AES stuff. So let's also change that. So A becomes AES, replace all of those. Then we have decrypt, which is going to be nine. Decrypt, replace all. And then OK Boomer, which is B. B is going to be OK Boomer, replace all. So right, so we see Crypto.js is going to de decrypt something here, which is pretty much a, a full standalone statement. And that's going to be put in a variable. So I'm also going to rename this variable to decrypt. Okay, so then our decrypt is going to be used in here, in this thing. So we're going to do a two string of our decrypt with a crypto.js uh, enc dot uh, od, which is utf8. So now this seems to be pretty standalone and is decrypting something uh, kind of interesting. So I uh, put this in a different file, solve.js. I just pasted that in, uh, pasted our uh, decrypt to string in. I imported or yeah, required a node uh, um, package crypto-js. And if we run it then, we magically get our flag. So that was this challenge. Uh, I think it was very interesting. It was kind of cool for people who are new to um, the obfuscating stuff. I don't know my password, uh, but the flag is correct. And I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll hope to see you at another one.